Yes. We're here. Everyone. Ooh, as is. Ooh, how would you say that? Get a drench. Who says ah? Which ah. I think well, it might be ah. ah. <laughs> I don't know. Hard to tell. But anyway. Oh, ah? <laughs> no, no question mark. No question mark. There's oh. definitely not that one. Yes. And we have Hey Gensh. Welcome. And Slim Bloodworth. Who I think was in our Twitter space yesterday. Yes. Hello. Abish Keck. And another Slim Bobber. <laughs> Great cast yesterday about optimizing LinkedIn. Yes, that was our Twitter space. Glad you enjoyed it. Jonathan. Mariam. Mayank. <laughs> and keep waving, Michael. You're like the queen. Brilliant. No, I should do that. Yes. If, if I'm done. I believe it's this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fabulous. So, uh, in case you haven't heard, we are creating today a clone of Scrimba's Linktree. Scrimba's Linktree is something I made because we have so many things going on around our community. I thought it would be nice to collate all of these different links in one place. Just to clarify, it's, uh, it's an existing service. <laughs> we haven't made it already. Oh, no. I filled in the data. Yeah, it's basically it's like, like yeah, it's like your rail shopness and stuff like that. So Linktree is like an existing website that allows you to drop all of the links that you want for other people. Kind of like all links that you have as a person in one place. But in this case, Scrimbo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Does lots of cool, funky things, which we're going to be recreating today. I have already shared a um, Scrim where you can find the starter code, should you wish, because I thought um, I would get going and do basic setup, I suppose. Yeah. And I have a list of to-dos. So this is what we've got. Mm -hmm. Let's start with that. Oh, something's going on down there. Cats. Yep, cats. Cats gonna cat. Um, yes, so what's going on? In the CSS, you will see I have some utility classes. Oh, yeah, hello. Me. No, oh, what's up? Which each class, if you don't know, basically just does one thing. So we've got a flex <laughs> class, and then we've got justify content center class, align item center, and so on. Mm -hmm. And then it works a bit like Tailwind, basically. So you can yeah, set up your own utility classes. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, you should check out Scrimba's um, space travel website course because Kevin Powell talks all about that in the first section. So, right. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what I've done. And um, over in the HTML, we just have a container which contains divs with the links in. And the reason the links are in divs uh, is because we're going to need to put in some icons at some point. Oh, I see. And I think you should put them in divs anyway. I'm not really sure why, but if you have a link, it should be in a div. That, that might not be true, so don't, <laughs> don't hold me to that. Well, you're trying to create some kind of container that will have a lot of information. So like, it would be easier mm. to um, put animation on a div. Mm. Um, uh, no, but at the same time, if you're putting the link uh, and then an icon. Those two elements will need to be contained in some kind of block. Oh, yeah. I mean, here it will need a div. Yeah. But I'm saying if you have a link on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you have an icon and then you need to, uh, like, put animation on the whole thing, like over here, you can see that it jumps mm. with the icon. So they have to be within some kind of container. And the easiest one is a div. Yes. Lots more people have joined us. Thank you all for coming. Ooh, I think it's time to do our uh, traditional survey, which Way. is, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. It's supposed to be. <laughs> Conversation from the moon. <laughs> I was hoping it would be an amusing jingle, but it's a, um, yeah. Two-way radio. I mean, that sounds like that's the description for it. 
Next time I'll get a jingle ready. Yeah. Probably. Anyway, if you're new here, please put a bunny rabbit into the chat. And if you've been before, hit me with that tiger. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's what we have. And then I've just put in the uh, Squimba logo right up there. And we have a list of to-dos. Style the links, because at the moment, they're, well, they have the white background, but that's pretty much it. Add this highlight link animation. And this is the bit that might um, yeah, zoom in a bit. be interesting. Zoom in where, Michael? No, the text. How big do we normally have it? Probably that big. Yeah. Yeah. Um, add the functionality to open the link preview. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is in the real link tree, you can have, um, well, you can set them to show the latest video if it's a YouTube link, or the Twitter one can show the latest tweet, which wow. happens to be me tweeting, saying <laughs> we're live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we'll find out soon enough. Ooh. Let's add normal links first. Yes, absolutely. Lots of bunny rabbits in the chat. Oh, wow. Welcome, Welcome everyone. Bunny rabbits and some tigers. Welcome back to you. Thank you for coming along. Super exciting. Let me know Aww. where you're tuning in for. I'm sorry, but where wow. was that starter code? It was here. Uh, and this is Kitty. She says hello. This is Kitty, yeah. yeah. She's purring. She likes JavaScript. <laughs> She's always purring. <laughs> I'll put that over there. Okay, so I think we should get on with it. Let's go. Oh, you can put background music, but that's new. <laughs> I'm currently playing background music. I've never seen this feature before, so let me know if you can hear it and if it's a suitable volume. Wow, we're really exploring everything on this on the show. <laughs> Kitty's name. That, yeah. That's her name. Yeah. <laughs> She's called Kitty because I'm a big fan of Lieutenant Colombo and he had a dog who he called Dog. So when we got Kitty, uh, we looked at her and She's a kitty, so we called her a kitty. I did try to come up with a more inventive name. Some ideas I had were Andromeda, Comet, various others, but Nothing none of stuck. them really stuck. Yeah, so, so she's kitty. That's why it's kitty. Yeah. And sometimes we'll call her kitty cat. <laughs> if you really want to push the boat out, eh? No. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, really driving home what, what this animal is. <laughs> <laughs> In case there's any doubt. But I sometimes call her bunny rabbit, so, you know, make of that what you will. Or chicken. Or chicken, yeah. <laughs> Ken that Ryan is G why I call her Kitty Cat. Is asking, where can I get round logo PNG? It should be in the starter script. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. it's already there. Rendered, hopefully. Let me know, if not. Anyway, on to the challenge. Um, uh, to do. Style the links. Okay, so what I might do is. Oh, how's best to do this? Side by side? Yeah. You get annoyed with me because I don't have that thing that separates the windows neatly. And I have installed it on your on your Mac. You just um, refuse to use it. It's complicated, right? <laughs> like, remembering a couple of keystrokes is complicated. You know, if I sat here and learned keystrokes all day, Michael, I wouldn't get anything done. So. That is literally the job. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this is what we are aiming for. So, um, let's do some CSS. Yeah. The links have... Let's do some CSS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, the divs have a class called link. Yeah. So let's style those. We've got um, a margin between them to separate them out a bit. And a background color. I think they need padding. And um, what should I do? The thing is, they also need to do like width. Is it like width 100%? No. Oh, they can only see one. Oh, no. Oh, that's annoying. Because we've um, 
I'm sharing the window, they can only see. Oh, I see, you're not sharing the screen, you're sharing the window. Yeah. So what we should do is set a maximum width on the container. And then the link should be 95% yeah. width, I reckon. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me know in the chat if you think that's... Hmm, actually, no, I think there's a way to do it with Flexbox. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Flex direction column is on there, so I'm going to try. I'm, I'm glad we're back to some CSS. It's really justify content. Justify content. I don't know what. Basically, I need to take the utility class off because I don't actually think that's the one I want. So let's get rid of this and see what happens. Right. Nothing. Okay. What are you trying to do? That is what I wanted. So a line item center basically stops it from stretching the whole width of the container. But I actually want it to be the whole width of the container. So we'll take that off. Michael's nodding and smiling. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we can get rid of this and there's and now border radius. Five pixels, I reckon. Actually it might be a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Michael nearly choked, so that's good. Um <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I mean, really, we can find out with DevTools. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was trying to say. I mean, really, we can copy all of the styles of DevTools if you think about it. Uh, there is actually, there is <laughs> so actually, that would ruin the fun. Yeah, but there is just for for those of you who wonder, like, mm, can I just copy the whole style of the page? There is Maybe actually, <laughs> yeah, there is actually a plugin called CSS Scan. I think I have that. Um, um, CSS Peeper, I have. There you go. So there is there is there is a plugin called CSS Scan where it's like you point in the element, you say like copy that, and it copies you all of the styles pretty well actually. Uh, so yeah, check it out. But we don't want to do that because that would be a bit cheating, really, wouldn't it? But we well, can't. Well, it's not cheating it if you're building your own stuff. But I suppose yeah, if you're like building something from scratch for a stream, that would like in our case that would be cheating. But if I were doing it at work. I don't think that's cheating. <laughs> Saves you time. Just like you know, don't, don't steal, Genius. don't steal someone's design. Like you know, like get inspired by it, and you can peep the CSS to learn from it. And yeah. Then, and then you tweak that CSS, you know, to fit wherever you want. So it's like if you're ripping off like Facebook page or something, that's cheating. But if you are like looking at clever design and then, you know, copying it, deconstructing it, rearranging it. You know, is that cheating? I don't think so. The topic of today's stream is what is cheating? What is cheating? <laughs> yeah. It's not. Anyway, many more tigers dropping on in, including Macho. Will you hear that? Yes. Anyway, after that long spiel, I've concluded that the border radius is eight pixels. So, in that case, eight pixels. Okay, cool. Yeah. And, um, I mean, to be fair, right now, what we're doing is ripping off the exact design of a link tree. It's a client micro, it's, it's not a, a rip off. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> For educational purposes. It is. Um, no, no, I, I, th that wasn't sarcastic. <laughs> also, there is this nice little box shadow here, which I think we can nab. Why not? I have to admit, that screen over there that you know, we can see ourselves is really distracting. Is it? Although it does make you look into the camera a little bit. Or at least it makes it look like we're looking into the camera. Yeah, my, my camera back screen flips up, which I did know that it did that, but I'd forgotten and I rediscovered it on Wednesday. So we can see ourselves. Oh, look at that. That's looking quite good already. Oh, yeah. Well done, us. Oh, wow. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're speeding along today. Um, sorry, just joined, says so. Yeah. But what's with the background music? Is this a new addition for all shows henceforth? Well, I don't know. What happened was I discovered a new feature called in, background music. Yeah, in StreamYard. Within the software I use. Mm. 
never seen it or tried it before, but I thought I'd give it a go. Let me know, everyone, what you think. Will this be uploaded to GitHub? Yeah, put the piano emoji if you're enjoying the wooey yoga music. Uh, or put, uh, put a thumbs down. Thumbs up know. or thumbs down. Hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> I like it. So that'd be good. Thanks. Oh, that's good. Um, then not to get help, but we will share the script. I have to admit, this music has reminded me of that time we went uh, in Oxfordshire to that gong bath. Yeah, there was another gong bath in Haverford West the other day. Hmm. We couldn't go. No, I'm not going to another gong bath. It was all right. <laughs> I would. <laughs> really? Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, yeah, we need to start this business in here. So that is. So what's missing? Link, and then within that, the link inside the div called link. That's a bit confusing, but never mind. Um, text decoration none. Oh, I see. Right. So we don't have the underline anymore, and we want it to be. Oh, kind of like every every item on this tree is a link, so it's only highlighted separately. No, there is. What oh, is that? Yeah, because link is the name of the class, which is on the div that contains the link. Yeah, I mean like semantically. You know, normally links are underlined, so it also gives you an additional visual oh, cue. Right, yeah, that's true. Oh, mixed feelings about the music. Half the volume. Something. You think it's awesome? Yeah, but we could half the volume. Really, I have no idea how loud it is. So, I will take that feedback on board. There we go. Apparently that's half. Yes. So... Let me know how that goes. <laughs> we do most of our testing in production here. <laughs> I was listening to metal <laughs> when I was coding before I started. I don't think there is a metal option. No. Feeding the ducks is an option. I oftentimes listen to Rammstein when I code. There is a rock. I wonder what that is. Maybe we'll try that next week. Yeah. Oh, look. Hello, a tiger from Ukraine. Hey! Brilliant. Better now. Oh, well, now people think it's too low. Let's see, some more feedback coming in to the chat. Um, I thought I did text online center on that. Uh, probably I need to do with 100%. I thought the cat was underneath. You know why text online center isn't working? No idea. <laughs> Let's get the old dev tools out. Um, Isn't it because you're trying to align it within uh, within the anchor tag when it's already aligned within the anchor tag? What you want to align is anchor within a link. Basically, move text align to link above. Yeah. There you go. That has what? Woohoo! I actually learned something! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Great news. Wow. If that is Kitty, where is Pumpkin? Where is Pumpkin? Uh, I think he's in the bedroom. Yeah. Or well, he's underneath waiting for his big boots. He might be, yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. What else? The fonts. Um, what font are we actually using? The standard at the moment. Oh, speaking of pumpkin. Oh, you came in. Great news. Nope. No, we he's off. have a nice. No, he's off. Michael, can you stop <laughs> distracting me? Um, <laughs> font we use at Scrimba, which I've put in the link tree, which is called Carla. So I reckon we'll grab that. Um, 500, which is usually the, the standard, looks a bit thick. Is it usually? Actually, no, it's 400. Yeah, yeah. I think it regularly is 400. <laughs> um, currently, I've got a few too many. So I'll just do those for now. Pop that in there. It really annoys me that whenever you copy these, it always messes up the indentation. It's sorted out, Google, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> that's not on them. That, that's on you. <laughs> it's not. It happens on VS Code as well. I'm sure. Yeah, but th- that's on you to put the linting correctly, so it didn't de- auto indent it well, for you. I think they should be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's fine. yeah. Sort it out <laughs> <laughs> and change the color to oh no. This is the colour. I use coolers to keep track of the colours I'm currently using. Yeah. And these are the ones that are going to be going live in next week's challenge week. Ooh, yes. Which is on Monday. Starting on Monday. Oh, yes. Starting on Monday. What's the challenge week? Hold on a minute. But <laughs> colour this. I think we call this one deep grape. Deep grape. Okay, so... Um, so what's the challenge week? Yes, yes. yes. There we go. Because um, we have a lot of bunny rabbits in the chat, so it'll be useful to explain what it is. Totally, yeah. Um, just finding the link, which I did find earlier, but I said, oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Now we've got two musics. Yeah. Do, 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 Here we are. Do, do. Screen the challenge week. Do. Be notified as soon as the first challenge goes live, which will be sometime on Monday. Yes, basically, you code to win. Hmm. And what that means is you will solve some Valentine's themed JavaScript challenges and you can win Scrimmer Pro subscription, you hmm. can win money, you can win a job ready review with Michael. Do you want to tell us That's about me. it? Yeah. yeah, basically, you know, we'll have a look through like your CV, your LinkedIn, uh, we'll have a chat about tech and the rest of it. You know, you can ask any questions you want uh, and I'll try to answer them as well as I can. Uh, so basically, it'll be like an honest you know, opinion from a friend, uh, if you are ready to apply, uh, you know, aspects to improve, if you are not ready to apply, again, aspects to improve, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. How so, you can optimize your LinkedIn, CV and all other sorts of stuff. Yeah, basically how to, you know, how to get more confidence and be also job ready. Perfect. So that is what uh, Scrimmer Challenge Weeks are. Yes, missed opportunity to call it Deep Purple. That is true. <laughs> Ooh, Milos, built my first server React that is not course related to Herbert Mod Portfolio. Nice. nice. And apply for jobs. Super proud. Got mm. to practice almost everything I've learned on Scrimmer and Free Code Camp. Nice. Very good. I'm a favor for the second music. Really? I thought this was the same music. Maybe it has different songs. Good to know, though. Or is that, or does not mean my lift music? Yeah, <laughs> doubtful. Yeah, no. Maybe. <laughs> Woo. How do you half the volume on the second music? Oh, okay. So there you go. No, it, it must then Norm definitely enjoyed the volume of. Uh... Well, it's a half the volume on you. Right? <laughs> I'll half the volume on me. I mean, <laughs> that's a very random way of saying, like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that's that. That's that. Uh, mm. See, this is a bit of a situation. What? What is that? I don't, I don't see it. Because now, oh, I know that this is something that comes up all the time. That's if you do have this now, you expect the whole thing to be clickable, but it's not. Oh, 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 oh! So when you pick the pick the thing in DevTools and hover over. So you've got div. No, the no link inside it. But so we, when you scroll down, we're going to need the whole div to be a link. So you want ah, uh, what uh, is it? Like you need to extend that link to fit. Uh, because the current bot, uh, if you look at the border model. So yikes. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, give it a mess. Da, da, da. So, when you go to border margin padding, so basically your link takes only this blue space, while this takes everything else. So, I think it's like you have to. Ah, uh, there is some property. Oh, hang on. Lane. No, I reckon if we move the padding onto the link, that will do it. Oh. 
that? No. No. <laughs> no, it's like uh, there is some kind of like removal of uh, not padding, but it's like kind of like you flip the border. Ah, you know, the box model, you basically flip it in the other way. Link in div. Make div clickable. Or maybe you can pass in the event listener. Make entire div clickable. See those tricks. This is perfectly valid HTML. Yeah. Oh, look, update November 2020. I think the best possible technique is this method, method four. Block links. Method four. What are they? Let's go down. Method one, method two, mm. method three. Jeez, that's a lot of methods. Oh. <laughs> method four, there we go. Oh, you do it the other way around, interesting. You wrap a div in a link. See? Yeah, but that, I don't think that's the solution, is it? Sounds like a solution to me. Well, it is, but it's writing a load of JavaScript. I mean, I mean there's got to be an easy way. No, because what you do is you basically say card main link is text selected get selection to string main link click card yeah so you see what basically they are adding an event listener on the card mm -hmm. and it basically clicks passes on the click to from the div it passes on the click to the link you reckon we should do that then? I think that's the only way to do it. I'm sure there's another way to do it. Why not wrap a div in an anchor? Can you do that? Yeah, basically why... That's what that was saying, isn't it? Uh, yeah, over here. I mean, I'm more inclined to do that. Uh, yeah. You absolutely need to use JavaScript to find inside Uh, display block. So the whole rectangular area. Oh, there you go. Remember, you can make links display block. Oh. So the whole rectangular area becomes clickable. Okay. We can work with this. But if you go back. So that's because it's still inside the um, div. Yeah, but if you go back, it says, but if there is a ton of content in there, it's absolutely horrible for accessibility, reading all that content is interactive. Okay, well, but there isn't much content, it's just the name for and the link. And the logo. And the logo. So, it should be all right. I'm going to share this Scrimba challenge with my class. We're using Scrimba for progressing our skills in front end and we're looking for a project. I think this could be it. Really? Yeah, yeah very nice. Cool. Yeah. Nice. He's just shared his solution or his um, project on Discord. You know, I built this. Okay, and check it out. I want to play using Tailwind CSS. Good one. Yeah. I love uh, the next question pose also. Why not wrap a div in the anchor? And uh, personally, for me, the answer is I'm much more comfortable solving <laughs> problems with JavaScript rather than HTML or CSS. I mean, I can see that from an accessibility point of view. <laughs> Probably the JS is the better way to go because then you're not confusing everything in what well, well can um, you explain what does it confuse when you do display block i don't think display block in itself is the issue but okay. it's more um if you have a load of content inside the link but i think on this occasion it would not really be much, much of a problem yeah so let's go with that so we need display block because you just remove it oh. does it actually do what you want does I actually make the whole div clickable? Ah, uh, so hang on, we need to flip it around. Yeah. So we're going to do... Hold on. This... Up here... I have never put anything inside a link before. So just... So you, you already have it? Yeah. Yeah, just I don't flip know it around. why I think this is so weird. But then that's going to mess up the styling, Michael. Well, I suppose we'll have to fix it. I suppose we will. And now, 
just that wording, Scrimble front end developer career path. Hmm. Yeah, move that inside of a div. Why? Because that's where your wording goes at. Yeah. Okay. Oh, learning together. Oh, okay. That appears to have done what we wanted, so. And I do the, the other link as well. Good news. Yeah. Um. If this. And then. And then we just need to tweak the CSS so that we get rid of our underline again. So really, um, I think you should just flip them around. As in, whatever you have. All just, of these. No, just delete. Just no, delete I don't think so, Michael. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, I don't need that now. Okay. Text decoration none is not working. And I guess that's because Okay. <laughs> so I thought it reverted back to what it was before. No. Um Oh, okay, I know what. It should be um, just this. Yeah, but text decoration oh, is... And then move that back in there. Yes. Whoa, okay. Intense. <laughs> yeah. Does it work? I imagine so. I don't know, hover over the other one. What? Maybe we did this. <laughs> yes. This assignment seems to be perfect for a react exercise. It would be good. Yeah. yeah. You hosted some project with teams. Are there any future plans for this? Did we? Do we? Oh, those different colored teams that you set up. What? There was like the blue team and the red team. Oh, yeah, but that was uh, Ruffy. Uh, that was basically community led. It wasn't like Scrimba. It wasn't Scrimble, it was just one of the community members uh, created this project. But I think they had, they basically had like one one run uh, and it kind of, uh, kind of stopped after that. But maybe. Yeah, the problem with a lot of team, you know, team led projects is that it's a lot of work. <laughs> it, it's a lot of time, a lot of work. Um, so, yeah, if somebody wants to give it a go, I'm sure just tag Rafi on Discord, uh, and I'm sure he'll be able to like pass on the torch. I'm going to eat um, dinner with my girlfriend on Monday evening. Hopefully I can still manage to finish the challenge. If not, don't worry, you can do the Tuesday one and the other ones. You don't have to do all of them. You can do as many yeah. or as What is it with a winner? You, you like. basically have like, is it one winner pair challenge? Yeah, there's a daily winner that gets a free subscription and then we select the grand prize winners in next Friday's live stream from all of them. But all the rules will be on Monday. Or what? Like, where, where do we go to read all the rules? Ah, yes, there'll be a um, dedicated challenge page which will explain everything. It's basically like JavaScriptmas, but it's more. And like JavaScriptmas, but Valentine themed. Yeah. <laughs> no Santa, more hearts. The link div um, M Usman is saying we need dot link div. Do we? I'm not sure. What for? Looks alright. Looks alright for now. If it ain't broke. No need to wrap now. Just move the padding to a link with display block. Are we wrapping? I don't know. I think so. Any giveaways today? Um, I don't know. No, just uh, happy Friday. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I don't think you need display block. No, I'm not sure I do actually. Oops. Uh, div is a block element, and anchor tab wraps around it. Good. So now, Minosh, thank you. Mm. Lovely. Cool. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yes, gotta get a move on now. Um, Style links. I think that's kind of done. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Those sounds are so corny. I know. Add highlighted link animation. <laughs> now, um, we. Ooh, there's that nice cool website called. What is it called? Like what animate, is it called? animate something. Animation. Animista. Is it? Yeah. I think it is, yeah. Animista. Yeah, there we is are. It's useful because it um, has pre made a load of animations you can use, which is very nice. Um, so we want, we don't want them going out. Oh, hold on. Probably want attention. Vibrate. Jello. That's stressful. That's even more stressful. No, not jello. That's stressful. Oh, maybe jello. <laughs> I think jello. But let's try them all. Wobble. Wobble. Bounce. No. Pulsate. I think we used pulsate in the previous one. Blink. I do worry about some of these, you know. I think Jello is the best one. Jello, vertical. Oh, you can try vertical Jello. Horizontal. Yeah. Try horizontal Jello. What's the difference? It's whether uh, right. it pings that way or this way. <laughs> Diagonal. Do... Oh no, I don't like that one. What does this look like? I think it's just. I think it's um, vertical. So we'll go with that. It's not quite a Jello, but. Copy. Copy class, copy keyframes. I think you need both. Yes. So why can't you just copy both together? Because you can't use them independently, really, can you? But never mind. It's a free service, so I won't complain. Um, so where to put it then? On, on link, I guess. And then we don't need this. And this. Yes, all this. And then keyframes going. Whoa! Oh, but we don't want it on both of them. And we also need it to be um, continually doing it. So, um, we're going to make a new class called... Chill or Vertical. Mm, emphasize. <laughs> no, they, I think they call it Highlight on the actual link tree. Right. Plus... That's on the logo, man. Wrong div. Okay. <laughs> Wrong div. So it gotta go here. Yes. yes. And then we're going to move these. To oops. Yeah. I like. And then. Okay. Looking good. But we need, we need to look up CSS animation um, shorthand. Really nice. CSS. Uh, I don't know. Scrimba animation. It's quite a nice course we have on Scrimba. Learn CSS animations, which gives you a nice little overview. I think it's free as well. So go and check that out if you want to learn more. Isn't it on hover? Says Angelina. It's actually not because you can choose uh, the most important link basically and have that constantly pulsating. Oh, but I see. On hover, right. it does something else. It kind of presses in. So that's something which we should add actually. Hmm. Have you found it? My good people, I'm excited to have you here. I'm happy to see you, Leanne. Woo! Thank you for coming along. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's how they they, they were typing it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I like to be enthusiastic. Any references for an offline JavaScript documentation? Offline? Oh, like a book? Yes. 
Uh, Eloquent JavaScript, pretty good book. Also, well, if you don't want to pay money for it, you don't know JavaScript is a GitHub repo that has a lot of pretty good JavaScript resources. Well, it would be online though. He's asking for offline. Well, I mean, it's on GitHub, so like, clone the repo and it's now offline. Ah, nifty. Nifty. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put that in the to-dos actually, that we should do the hover state as well. Ooh, feature creep. <laughs> it's not feature creep, it's basic <laughs> accessibility. Um, yeah. Whoa, um, so, there we are. Um, CSS animation shorthand. Um, I'm trying to figure out what that thing that says both is. Because we have, that's the name, that's the um, duration, and both. I can't remember what that is. So... Timing function. Oh, it was probably direction. Well, no, that's not an option of direction. Nope. Yep. Not that. Not that. Fill mode? Timing function? I reckon it's fill mode. No, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, both. Oh, okay. It's fill mode. Animation will follow the rules for both forwards and backwards, extending the animation properties in both directions. Okay. So that's okay. what that is. But we want um, iteration count. So that would be before the fill mode one, according to this. Infinite. <laughs> that's a bit much. <laughs> you probably want it like three seconds. <laughs> we really want you to press on the front end developer career path. Right. Okay, that's not what I. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably. Ah, oh, hang on. So go back to the properties. I mean, we can just look there at is, like, time the CSS, delay. can't we? See what's on it. Um, transition. It's actually done with a transition. Or is that something else? No, I think that's right. Is it? Hey, but then that to... suggests it's. Oh, hold on. It's doing like. It's, go to yeah. Animista. Yeah, well, I don't think we need the animations after all. Uh, ba, ba, ba. So, animation property. Uh, Michael, we can just copy the transition. No, look. Animation delay. There you go. Oh. Specify delay before animation will start. So, we have. That's what timing. M. Usman is saying. Ah, here we go. So we basically specify duration and we specify delay. So if we have... But Michael, <laughs> we can just use transitions. Ah, well, we've already done this, so... Well, that doesn't mean we should continue doing it. What? Yikes. Maybe that's not how it's done. It needs to be in a slightly different position, I think. Ah, oh, does it? But I think we should just do what I said, which is this. <laughs> Can we just stop jumping from one to another? Like, so let, let's pick this. Fix, mm. fix the one that we have. Why? Because otherwise it's, so, you know, it's inconsistent. Let's just try it. <laughs> okay, well, it does nothing. So. Save. Because, yeah. No, that does nothing. I'm getting distracted by these interesting properties I've never seen before. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll go back to your idea then. <laughs> yeah. I think also part of the issue is it's scaling enormously. And really, let's, let's fix ah. the timing. The timing. It's let, not. Let's... I don't think the timing's the issue because when you load this, there's no delay. Yeah, but it repeats it, not 
instantly. It repeats it with a delay. So mm. how do you add that delay into this? Oh, I see. So that's what I think um, Emma Usman is saying. Increase the delay time. Yes. Um, CSS animation. And that's why I was trying to find out if that animation should come after oh, the duration. Oh, timing function. Oh, don't bother. So after this. No, hang on. Go, go back, go back, go back. Yeah. Duration, timing function, delay. Yeah. What's the timing function? Specify speed. Good question. <laughs> specifies the speed curve of the animation. I like this is what um, Slim Bloodbirth is saying, I think. Um, can we try using a cubic bezier? So, you know. Um, you can use these. Uh, to be honest, I've never really understood these. But I know, like, this is the whole thing is the same duration throughout, or it, this is slower at the start, uh, I think. I so I guess we'd want ease out, wouldn't we? Yeah, because then it would be faster at the start. Ah, uh, so that is slower. your timing function. So what's the difference between ease and ease out? It looks like we want ease based on this. Whatever. <laughs> okay, and where does it go? Uh, after duration. So, get ready. Ease. No, I think you need to. Uh, Leanne. Yeah. When you go back to Cubic Busier, you need to copy that value. Ease is just a preset, you need to copy the function value. I don't know because um, the timing functions have like preset ones, and ease is one of them. Ah, so, wow. oh, increase speed towards the middle. Well, that's not what we want. We want start quick and decrease speed. Yeah, but does that? So we want ease out, I reckon. And in that case, you need to increase that from half a second to... Well, I don't think we want a delay then. That looks basically what we want. It's just, it's so obnoxiously huge that um, we should just basically sort out the scaling, I think. So instead of having like... I mean, really, I don't think it needs to be this detailed. Let's just I think do... You can, I, I think you can probably... This and then that's good enough. It's a bit gentler, not mm -hmm. what's that for the sake of simplicity. I'm just going to have keyframes. In production code, you would need WebKit as well, but just for Scrum, but it's okay to have um, just the keyframes. Okay, so now it's a bit too slow. So now we can put this back, I reckon, too. Oops. I think you need to, like, have a space where it's like not moving okay so that would be there yeah one second no for some reason it doesn't work delay should go after timing function ah oh, that's why it's in the wrong place arguably yeah. I think it's easier to split it into different, um, what do you call it, properties. I don't think that is the wrong place. Go back to your CSS animation property. That over there, you have timing, name, duration, timing, function, delay, that's fourth. You know, Kevin Powell says that you should just put them in separately. Yeah, if you, if so you click animation delay over there, Michael, just 
But maybe that's a different format. Maybe it's not a second like that. Maybe it's something else. Mm, no, it's definitely a second. Okay. Any, oops, any nation name, Jello Vertical. So now I can identify which ones are not playing ball. So, animation duration, one second. No, I don't really know which of these are. Let's do that. Animation delay, one second. Animation timing function. Interesting. Ease out. And then, oh, what's the infinite one? Animation iteration count. Infinite. Oh no, pumpkin has gone home again. I can't remember what the both thing was, but I'm going to leave that now. Okay, so. No, the animation delay is not working. I think that's because it only does it on page load. Whoops, more crumbs. Oh no. Yeah, it only does uh, it on page load. I have fallen into this trap before. Yeah, I feel like we have shot ourselves in the foot like that before. Oh, there you go. CSS infinite. Animation. Animation pause. Yeah. yeah. Animation pause. Make a pause during infinite CSS3 animation. Oh, there we are. Stack overflow. Straight down to the answer. The, oh, the only way to achieve those two is, is to extend the animation so that it lasts four seconds instead of one. Then you can delay the animation by animating. Okay, from 75% to one to a hundred. Well, anyway, it's not like I'm that particularly bothered about it, but at least we now know how to do it, so. Yes, good to know. But let's move on for now. Um, so we know now so that so. basically the way to <laughs> make a pause in the middle of animation is you just keyframe it into the thing. I feel like this could be 95 and not I actually don't think you'd want it going below the size of the others. So you can, you can just gently pulse like that. There we go. That's nice. Interesting. Yes, very good. Try to add to some delay time in the animation. Um, that's what we had, but that's not what we want because it only does it on page, page like. like it wants it within. So what you could do is I mean, I don't think it'll be that difficult to do, Michael. Let's do it. 75%. Let's do it. Oh, pumpkin. And then the 100. <laughs> Michael's off. Like, yeah, screw this. All right. <laughs> Should be. Oh, uh, he's I trying to. The same. He's trying to sneakily get me out. But then what should the 100 be, Michael? The end of the anime. You basically have to do two loops. You have like three steps in the beginning, then you have a break, and then you have to repeat those three steps again. So you have your 0, yeah. 50, 100%. So now you have to do them 0, 25. 4.5, right? Yeah. It's not, is it? <laughs> 25. 75 divided by 2. Why 75? 37.5. Because this is the, the top of the animation is now at 75, right? So we want that to be halfway through. Okay. But my question is what goes in here? Now I think the way I understood it is that you go 0, 25, 50. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, you don't. Um. So let's say your animation is three seconds and you want to have a one second pause inside of it. Oh look, it's just the same as this. You go back to 
I don't think that's what I want. No, that's, that's just specific to their question, so to the animation in the question. So if you have, then you could delay animation by animation from 75 to 100. Hang on a minute. Ah. <laughs> you can set the delay in Animista. Oh, can you? Really? Oh. See, it was worth reading. Thank you. Whereabouts would that be? Scroll down. Um, oh, I'm, I don't, yeah, I need to close that. Delay. But that is still the animation delay, I think. Give it a go. Maybe not. I mean, replace 100 with 50. And after that, it needs to be the default value. That was at not. Oh no! Hang on, I think I no 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 no. Basically, Which will you have this? no no? Will you have it seventy five? That's what it is anyway. Will you have it seventy five? Copy it into a hundred and leave it to that. But wouldn't it do that anyway? If you don't specify. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I think it would. <laughs> All right, in that case, just leave it to that. Yeah, but I don't think maybe it doesn't matter. I feel like this should be really easily solved. Yes, so do I. And uh, this is why I hate it. <laughs> uh, ooh. Animation play state. Prop. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you see, this is what it's like. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Let's write some JavaScript to basically pause it every couple of seconds and then resume it again. Okay, well, it's not a huge deal. I don't think. So we can just... Anyway, I'll also feed the cats. See you later, everyone. <laughs> You're not. Because um, we still have three minutes, and I think we should do a hover state. Right. Um, come on, Leanne. Oh, you're in the CSS. <laughs> um, <laughs> dot link. Oh, you want to hover all the links. Right. Hover, uh, yeah, and dot link focus, and we will do yeah scale not point nine five. No, transform scale. Mm. Look at that. Transform scale? Transform. All oh, right. I think this is the right syntax. Let's give that a go. Yes. Not the most elegant. It's a bit jumpy, but you know, basically gives an idea of what we're trying to do. Okay. So, back to to do's. Add highlighted link animation. Done. I think it's fair to say. Painfully. Done. <laughs> Hover state. Done. Add functionality to open link with preview video or tweet. Yeah, and so we've got to do that now, Michael. In two minutes. <laughs> Perhaps like not. However, if you would like to do that, um, do it and drop it in our Discord server. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. I mean, maybe we'll. Uh, oh, actually, we're next week. We're coding the yes, weekly the weekly challenges thing, aren't we? We are. Right. Okay. Well. Whenever we have a quiet week, we might come back to this project. Here you go. Do you guys do any PowerShell scripting? Uh, no anymore. I used to, but no anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's. And that's, you feel that. uh, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it, but there you go. Yeah, it's all right. I prefer I prefer bash scripting. But no mind. Don't forget to sign up for the challenge week, which is starting on Monday. Five days, five challenges, JavaScript challenges, Valentine's themed, and tons of amazing prizes. It'll be good fun. Yes. And then we will be back, as Michael said, solving some of those challenges. Yeah. I'm very so silly. <laughs> that's not a photoshop that's really you yeah okay well i mean the t-shirt the t-shirt's a photoshop yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think it's nice <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a decent t-shirt, I guess. Yes. I mean, you can read in my face when I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Make of that what you will. Uh, yes. Well, thank you all for coming. Yes. It's been brilliant. And we will be back with a Valentine's themed edition of the Code With Us live stream next week. Yes. Yeah. And give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the music, which has now stopped. Um, I think it's good. Let's try this. This is called Feeding the Ducks. Can you make it loud? I can't hear it. Feeding the ducks. <laughs> I don't know why this is feeding the ducks. <laughs> Sounds like coffee lounge music to me. This is rock. Yeah. I think it's a stretch calling that rock, really. Uh, there are so many <laughs> reverbs in there. Lo fi. Oh, wow. It's like those like Instagram posts about, like, here is my day being a software engineer. I have a MacBook. I put it on the table. Then I drink coffee for three hours. Then I look out the window from a skyscraper. Intro space. Like a yeah. jazzy feel. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, Scrimba. And the team. Ah, oh, sweet. The YouTube library is failing you. Is it? I don't know what that is. Maybe I mean the music. No, that, uh, well, is it a YouTube library? I think it's whatever is in StreamYard. This sounds like code fusion music. Feeding yeah. the ducks, like, <laughs> it sounds like your corner is important. <laughs> we'll definitely avoid that one then. <laughs> also, love the whole Scrimbo community. Yes. Epic. Well, I'm glad they finally put music in it. Oh, what about night driving? Although, to be fair, I read that as night drinking. And I was like, <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> I, 90s pop. <laughs> I mean, that actually does fit night drinking too. Does it? Well, if you're alone. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Dance pop. <laughs> it stopped. It didn't. Oh. Oh, I like this one. Okay, stop deafening people. <laughs> this has got like a, <laughs> I would call it 90s football tournament feel. Oh yeah. Actually, it does sound a bit like FIFA 2003. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Marius. I really like this community. I'm the way Spimba. Hope you're into studying and learning new things. Hope to succeed in my job transition. Mm -hmm. Wish you all the best. Good luck. Yes. Oh yeah, don't forget, uh, please press the like and subscribe to the channel and whatever. We, we always forget to say that, but Pear tells us not to. <laughs> Does he? I don't think he's ever said no, that to me. Yeah, don't blow the cover. All oh, right. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Um, I've just remembered something very important. But anyway, it does help, like, <laughs> like you know, the channel to be discovered and the rest of it because, you know, the YouTube gods, they know where all the stuff needs to go. Um, there is a tradition of closing out this task, not task, what do you call it? Um, live stream with a video, which I will now, oh no, my mouse. Oh crumbs, Michael, the, the computer. <laughs> what happened then? I don't know, the mouse Oh, oh your working. iPad has overtaken your mouse, or your mouse has run out of battery. Mm. Your mouse has run out of battery. Okay. Yeah, my mouse has run out of battery. Without it doesn't warn you. It just goes, yeah, no, not happening. Yeah, well. But anyway, um, the weekly tradition of closing out with a video. Can't forget that, Michael. No, you can't. I found this one on Which one? Twitter. This one. Yes. Ah. Uh, Running towards the weekend. Why, sweet. Look at him go. Whoa. Jeez, that's a chubby bunny. But fast. <laughs> it's one chubby Only, bunny. It might be running towards food. Yes. Um. Oh no, just the trousers. <laughs> yes, 
so I'll leave with you with that. And don't forget to check your email inbox on uh, Monday for Monday. hot details about the new challenge week. Very exciting. So, so Michael looks like he's playing ukulele. He does have a ukulele, actually. Maybe you'll bring it. How next. do you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what does it mean? He looks like he plays a ukulele. <laughs> Guys, is Twitter working properly? Uh, yeah, bunny Sweet. rabbit videos load properly. Oh, is that right? Yes. Well, let me know if not. Okay. Well, thanks for coming, everyone. And see you next week. See ya. Bye.